I'll just read it. It says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unknown and ignorant men, they marveled, and that they took knowledge of them, that they had been with Jesus. And beholding the man which was healed standing with them, they called say nothing, they called they could say nothing against it. But when they did when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred among themselves, saying, What shall we do to these men? For that indeed a notable miracle have been done by them is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. But that it spread no further among the people, let us straightly threaten them that they speak henceforth no, to no man in this name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, or nor teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in thy sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God judge you. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. Amen. And I want us to just focus on the last part of the scripture. For we cannot speak the things which we have seen and heard. Amen. Uh, you may be seated. Have you ever um, watched a film and you've just spoken about it? You've had such a great time in the film and something in the film just impacted you where you just had to keep talking about it, you couldn't stop. I can remember a film, I think it was uh, Titanic. Does anybody remember that film? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that film, um, I think it outdone all of the films at that time and for a long time. Even now they've remade a... Uh, DVD collection set, deluxe set, um, and um, they've even changed the ending on some of the films. But um, sometimes we can we can have such a passion for certain things to the point where we keep talking about it. All of us have a passion, amen. Ultimately, our passion is Jesus, yeah. but all of us have a passion and we talk about it. But sometimes when we when we are talking about Jesus to our work colleagues or just to our friends and family, because we're talking about Jesus, the enemy wants to try and stop our mouths. And what I love about this scripture, and um, I was actually watching uh, some from time to time, I watched the Acts, um, the Apostles of the Acts video. And um, the way he says it, when you actually see it, it's so funny. But in verse 20, I just want to repeat, it says, For we cannot speak the things which we have seen and heard. And I think about that, and I think to myself, these guys must have been brave. <laughs> you know, going in front of the Jew, Jewish council and saying, you know, we can't help ourselves. We have to speak what we've seen and heard. Amen. And we've seen God operate in our lives. We've seen the miracles and the wonders. And we still see them today. And every time when I read the scripture, um, it just makes me think, you know what, when I go out and speak to someone on the street or at work, wherever it is, I just want to be like this guy, Peter, or like these guys, not to the point where I cannot help myself because of the things that he's done for me. Amen. Amen. Another scripture that I take comfort in as well, some, like I said before, the devil tries to stop our mouths and he puts fear on us. But... One thing that really gives me soberness is scripture, which is found in Matthew 10, 28. And I was reading this chapter and um, I think sometimes this is a stumbling block. Uh, Matthew chapter 10, in fact, 27 28. It says, What I tell you in the darkness, that speak ye in the light. And what ye hear in the ear, that preach upon the housetops. Mm. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. 
And sometimes God gives us words in the darkness. Sometimes we're on our face, we pray, or we might be on the bus, and God just gives us a word. And the devil again tries to say, you can't say that, you can't tell this person that. But the scripture says, fear not them which are able to kill, not able to kill, which are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him who is able to destroy both soul and body. And I, I pray for myself that the motivation as I go out, as we go out in daily life and we're sharing a testimony or something, that we will do it liberally and that we will allow God to speak through us without fear or doubting, knowing that as we speak, God will back us up. Amen. 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 Um, one thing as well that can hinder us, um, if we just turn one more scripture, and I'm done. Um, if you can turn to First John, First John chapter four and eighteen. I'm gonna read it from there because I haven't got it in time, so I'll just read it from the top. Maybe we can read it all together. Amen. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Amen. Sorry. Um, that was the scripture. Um, another scripture. It's, I want to love. Amen. Jesus loved us so we can love others. And love casts out fear. When you have a love, it will just cast out all fear. You know, peace Amen. to the point where you can speak to people and it just, it's not you but because you're connected with the one we have a relationship yeah. with Christ he brings a peace and pastoral understanding you can begin to speak to people and they'll see something different Amen. you may not see the initial response but as you keep on as you keep on yielding yourself to how Christ wants you to be you'll see the, you'll see the difference people say there's a change in you you know you're different yeah. Amen. 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 To God be the glory.